Thank you very much, Press. My name is Justus Kimel, the Corporate Executive Secretary uh, Makueni County. And I'm here on behalf of the teachers of Makueni to express our dissatisfaction with the current uh, finance bill number 14 of 2023 in its current uh, format. I want to state that uh, our workers and teachers are coming from hard economic times occasioned by the COVID-19 uh, conditions and also the high cost of living that was occasioned by the removal of subsidies on fuel and now actually uh, the workers have suffered a lot. For example, our teachers are suffering a lot of deductions uh, going to the government. Uh, pay as you is 30 percent. There is also a provident fund that is coming to 7.5 percent of the same salary. There is also NHIF and now the proposed 3 percent. That makes over 40 percent of the salary going back to the government or the employer. And thus this one leaves uh, teachers with half of what they are supposed to earn uh, from the employer. So it's like the government has taken half of the salary of our teachers if they include this provident fund. They are forgetting that teachers are, have also facilities with the banks, with the circles, and uh, almost 80% of our membership are beyond ability due to the many loans that they have. So our appeal as union is to call upon our members of parliament to reject this bill in totality when it comes to the flow of government. And also we, are want, we want them to stand with the people who elected them because they are suffering. And we also call upon our national union officials to stand with the teachers and oppose this dangerous animal called the finance bill uh, number 14 of 2023. Actually, what the workers are going through needs not to be added any more injury. And I think we have had enough of uh, taxation. And actually, all workers in this country are almost going to their knees. So we call upon the government to consider uh, shoving this bill and maybe introduce it at another time when the economy will have improved. The lovers are considered adding, uh, increasing the salary for the workers, and also give uh, these uh, housing pro, uh, projects to those who are willing. Our teachers have already built houses; others have mortgages where which they are they are paying to acquire houses. So not every worker in Kenya needs a house. Most of them have houses. So the government should consider this as a voluntary uh, exercise, and only give to those who are willing to acquire new houses. Thank you very much.